I thought I saw movement over there, so I'm thinking those guys respawned over there. That was cool. So let's go ahead and hit repair. 40 logs. I think I do have that. 10 hardwood, yes. 8 cloth swatch. Uh, I think I have at least that. 10 plant fibers. Here we go. Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Salt. Last time we were here, I was actually getting off on an island, a very large island and said, yeah, we're going to explore this next time around. Well, I ran around it. There really wasn't much there. I grabbed a few wood, nothing crazy. And I thought, you know what? Let's just head over. If I hit the um, sextant here, you can see I am currently at one west, one south. I was basically heading back to zero, zero. I thought, let me look around, just try to find the boat because maybe it's near the starting point like it was in my very first save when I was just still kind of learning the controls again. And I was kind of skimming over here took a little look over this way check that out the boat is right there I just pulled things to a stop and said you know what I better bring some people in here <laughs> so we are now about to turn this thing all the way around here and head what I think is south uh, the Sun just came up over there so east we should be heading south now uh, we came from way over in the west we were at five west three south I think so down in that direction I've kind of looped all the way back to here so we were close when I started we were close and in fact I ended up I must have gone in this direction ish to start things off or I might have gone that way and kind of looped around this and just totally didn't see it probably didn't get close enough to spot it but we are close enough now so we're gonna get in there we're gonna look at what it's gonna take to get that thing repaired and see if it's something I feel like I can do <laughs> in relatively short order Okay, we're closing down the boat. It's just on the other side of that little island, but I noticed a campfire here. Maybe a couple people. Actually, let's um, let's go to the far side of the campfire. I don't want to hop off and have them running at me before I even get off the boat. Um, I say they because I thought I saw a few. Yeah, there's a couple people standing at that campfire, so I'm pretty sure these are going to be pirates. Let's go ahead. Um, life looks cool. That's cool. We're going to go ahead and just kind of see if I can get on the island without drawing their attention um, let's crouch here um, let's see we're just gonna stay here a second um, let's go ahead and eat that's not really gonna help us a whole lot but um, I've got this too 12 max health and 12 health um, why don't we do that whoa that really jumped that up um, okay and then let me see that uh, I'm looking in the wrong spot. 488 of a thousand. Okay, interesting. Um, I think we're probably okay. I do have this uh, that can be applied to a weapon. Um, let's get the sword out. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and click this guy. Poison applied. That's good. So if, if I get all three, I'm going to kind of start shanking <laughs> multiple people. Try to get that poison applied. Um, and then I know I'm going to throw on a, uh, a mushroom as well. So let's go ahead and creep in here. Um, we're, we're in the crawl position. No one's come over the hill, so I guess we're good. Um, if I can get up behind somebody to get things started, that would be great. But if there's multiple people, I may not be able to make that happen. Whoa. So there are many more pirates here. Um, I mean, we can see four here, the head of a fifth, and I think there's a sixth one on the other side. Now, last time I actually tried to draw with the bow, um, it seemed like I was able to not, you know, I was, I, I was able to do it without pulling everybody, I guess is what I was trying to say there. So I think I might try that again. We're just gonna creep down here. And I might do a long shot at the guy by the water since these guys seem to be separating from him. I don't remember if there's much of a drop here. Okay, that nailed him. Let's switch out. And hopefully we're just going to keep him. It looks like it. Okay, buddy. Oh no, why'd the map come up? Don't do that. Yeah, you get out of here. <laughs> that was a crazy throat chop. Okay, well, we made short work of him. That was nice. Um, let's just go ahead. I've got the um, poison applied still. Is there not an icon for it? I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and uh, pull whoever's next here. Shank you in the face. Yeah, they don't do a ton of damage with that, actually. 
That wasn't bad. Check out all this loot later. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of keep at this pace, just kind of one at a time. Keep this going. Oh, you see the boat over there? So cool. Just making sure there's not a guy over this hill here. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this finished up. Okay, took those guys out pretty easily. Got up here and started picking up wood and realized, oh, these are like stacks of logs. I just picked up a few of them. Um, it didn't seem like there was much there. It was like a couple per. I thought I'd show you these a couple more here. One here. I thought that was actually another one, but I guess not. So I guess it was like three uh, piles. This being a campfire, not actual logs. So we can pick this guy up and I can hammer this guy. I probably should. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll head out to the big boat, and that's going to tell us um, what we need uh, in order to fix it up. That's going to be really cool. Now, I have a feeling it's probably the same as the last one I saw, which was... Ooh, what's this? Rough Topaz. Excellent. Um, the last one had, it said 40 wood, I believe, to um, fix it. So I'm assuming it's the same, but uh, I, guess, I guess we won't know until we get out there. Um, let's just go ahead and pop the boat down here. Do this thing. Get out there. I'm so excited. Hopefully it's not too, uh, not too difficult. Get up there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, you have to steer. That's right. You can't just uh, hope that it's going to go straight. So we're probably going to need some kind of cloth for the sails, you know, wood. I know there's some other things, maybe a sextant, but I actually have um, two. I made the one and then found the other one. Um, the other thing is the other boat that I jumped on before, um, it had a chest on board and I had no key, but I definitely have keys now. I have multiple keys. So um, let's see, how do I do this? Uh, how did I do this last time? Let's see. I don't remember. I may have to swim around this bit and try to find a way up. Okay, cool. I was able to just uh, highlight over a certain area there and board. Um, you could see <laughs> my boat uh, kind of floating through this boat, but that's okay. So, yeah, let's step up here. I think there was like a wheel on the ground. You could see that. Um, repair ship. Let's go ahead and see. So, 40 wood logs, 10 hardwood logs, 8 cloth, 10 plant fibers. So, I think some of this is not too bad. The wood you'd think would be easy, but eh, not so much. And 10 hardwood log as well. Um... Let's see, if I just hit this, you need more material. Okay, I didn't know if you could partially put in materials. That's totally fine. Um, let's actually take a look at what we have. I have a feeling it's going to be sad. 22 wood is actually more than I thought. We need 10 of the hardwood. We only have 5. Um, do we have any more logs? We don't. So I'll definitely have to get more. This, for some reason, I thought maybe I had like 10. So this actually makes me feel a bit better. Um, what else did we have to do there? Uh, eight cloth swatch. Um, is that what this is? Fine material. No. So we could probably make that. We have 11 fiber. I think it just needed 10. Um, so anyway, it's not, it's not as bad as I thought. Now, let's go below. Oh, I think I saw it as I went up the stairs here. Yeah, you can see this chest in here. It is very dark. Um, I do have a torch. Let's do that. Okay, so really nothing in here but the chest, um, and it does open. Excellent. Look at this. We get a pickaxe, silver cord, pelt. We have arrows. That's great. Um, sea turtle stuff, playbook. Okay, excellent. We're going to go ahead and take all of that. I don't know how much inventory we sp space you get, but I have a lot of stuff here, and there's still a lot more space. I don't know if that's infinite, but look at all those goods. Okay, I jumped off on this island to try and collect some wood, ran into a pirate scavenger, and he was kind of brutal. He hurt me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I ran. <laughs> I ran down here, hopped on my boat. He didn't follow me all the way down. And once I got down here, I thought, you know, let me just look at what I can craft, see if there's anything I can do, and started looking at these broken pirate axe pieces. I had six of them, and basically you can salvage for three of them, so I've used half already. And it just made... What did it do? I'm actually forgetting what it did. Um... I totally forgot. It was nothing useful useful to me right now. But basically, um, when you read this description, it says, um, This axe is all splinters and shards. Find a couple more, and you'll be able to salvage some, salvage some material or potentially repair the axe if you are lucky. And I was like, wait, hold the phone, axe, because that's what I was actually trying to see if I could make. 
and it's not appearing no matter what I put in except for these. So anyway, I've had one failed uh, use of it so far. Oh, I remember. It made a um, hardwood log. I had five, now I have six. So let's try this. We're going to do this one. So I can only do two. I only have the materials to do this twice. Okay, and that one says wood log crafted. So we made one hardwood log and one regular log, which is unfortunate. That would be amazing to make an axe. I assume that the axe would let you chop trees? I don't know what else you would do with it. <laughs> so anyway, that would be amazing. But that's all I've got for now. It does make me think I should go pirate hunting. Oh, check it out. There's a chest over here. <laughs> what do we have? Ooh, a compass. Nice. I was actually just seeing that I could... I think I could craft one of these. I think I have the materials for it. But I was like, I'm pretty good with direction. So I was like, eh, it's totally fine. I can. I know what north, south, east, west is. I don't need that. Um, excellent. These are definitely cool. We're going to take all of that. Um, but now that we actually have a compass, which is cool, let's go ahead and equip that one. Um, let's see, where are you at? So many things. There you are. Five. Five. Ooh, check it out. Now, I think there's actually a better compass. I seem to recall seeing in a video one that showed all of the directions. Um, and then, or at least north, south, east, west, the person was describing in the video, he had a really good one that had also the north, east, the southwest, those directions as well. So anyway, that's kind of cool. Um, I guess we have a very basic one, but we're really on a hunt for wood. We're really on a hunt for pirates. Actually, you know what? I kind of, I hurt that scavenger and now I'm like back to full. So maybe what I should do is try and go find him. Now, he was kind of near the top of the hill. I ran down the hill and hopped in the water onto my boat when he was kind of hitting me pretty hard. Um, so let's go, I don't think he chased me very far. Uh, which would put him somewhere over here. Now they do wander around a little bit. Um, so he could be anywhere. But, we'll see if we can find him. Some of these spots get really dark. Um, okay, so I came down here. There he is. That's it. He may be hard to see. This time I'm going to crouch. I just ran up to him. I didn't realize he was kind of a different guy, a pirate scavenger. So I just ran up to him. Yeah, look, and he's still hurt. Ha ha ha. Now he he hits hard. Um, but actually, you know, let's see if we can... Um, you're not the poison. Do we have any more? I can't remember if I used it all. Um, this guy, right? Poison. Let's apply that. Yeah, there's no icon indicating that it's still active. So... Hopefully I didn't already still have it, but that was some time ago. Let's creep up here. I'm curious if they face you, if there's any difference in this game of them noticing you. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, watch my life. Ooh, he see, he hits hard. We got this, though. Yeah, you done, son. Give me all your goods. Well, see, there's an axe piece. We got a coin shard. Okay, interesting. Uh, I was hoping he would be carrying, you know, like 20 wood, but... <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a bit too much to be expected. Okay, I've been heading east, island hopping, looking for wood, and I keep spotting this on the last island I was on, this little thing floating out here. And the funny thing is, um, whenever I place this boat down, when I place a new one, this one disappears. So out on the island back there, I placed this and watched that little spot, and it stayed there. And I was like, I gotta go see what that is. And I think... I think this might just be the, like, boat you could start with that you can build. Yeah, so we could repair this. Um, I can't remember how I started. <laughs> I guess I could go back and look at the video. Um, I don't recall offhand, but I might have crafted the boat, um, this, the first one and uh, instead of gone out and repaired that one so anyway that one could be you know floating around i'm not entirely sure but um anyway this is going to be the fifth or so island i've been on trying to get all this wood um we're kind of getting there it's slow going i've got 34 and i do have nine hardwood though so that's pretty good um if i kill another pirate and get another um like more axe parts um, then I've got that going for me. We could see what that turns into. You know, maybe if nothing else, it just becomes another log. But anyway, now that I've hopped over here, I just need to continue to explore and... To Whoa. Oh, you know what? This must be the starting island, right? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Take all that. 
Did I really start and not get this stuff? I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure that I got the starting things. Um, I wonder if these respawn or something though. It's very interesting. Well, I think our time has come. I've been island hopping for a while. I think I hit all the islands over there. <laughs> kind of did a circle around this place and I should have the materials I need. I'm pretty sure that we're good. So we're going to obviously hop up here and see about getting this thing fixed up. I'm pretty excited. I'm also a little nervous that I've got something wrong. It's usually how things go for me. I'm like, oh, I'm totally ready to craft this thing. And then no, no, you aren't because you didn't pay close enough attention. But I think, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and hop here. Whew. Okay, cool. I know it's very dark here, isn't it? This boat is really dark. Um, so it looked like I thought I saw movement over there, so I'm thinking those guys respawned over there. That was cool. So let's go ahead and hit repair. 40 logs. I think I do have that. 10 hardwood, yes. 8 cloth swatch. Uh, I think I have at least that. 10 plant fibers. Here we go. Okay, boat repaired, it says. Cool. Oh yeah, the steering wheel is up there. Awesome. Oh, and then I fell through something. I don't know what that was. Let's try not to do that again. Hey! <laughs> Is there a hole there? I didn't see anything. There's definitely not a hole there. Let's um let's go to the other side here. Oof. Okay, so it seems the floor is pretty bugged up here. I can actually reach the steering wheel, but can't interact with it. So I think that we actually have to raise the sails first. That was an option here. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. Okay, there we go. Are we moving? Yep, we are moving. Okay, so let's see if we can kind of interact with this up here. Okay, we can kind of steer from here. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, I know if I stand there, I fall in. So if I do this, whoa, that definitely acts a little wonky. I'm gonna try to walk on the floor now that we're moving. Maybe it's not a problem now that we're moving. Please, ah, oh, dang it. Oh no, this is no good. I may have to restart the game um, just to try that. Because I can't, I just can't walk on this floor. Check it out. Restart worked. <laughs> cool. So let's go. Oh, look at that. It left another boat back there. I didn't actually look when we started moving. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess maybe we could have two if we wanted. Let's go ahead and kick these sails back up again. And step up here. Yes. Okay. So I'm kind of curious how fast we move. Um... It seems pretty quick. I, I can't really tell if this is faster than the smaller raft. I'm, I'm assuming it is faster. It just doesn't maybe look as fast because we're up higher, but yeah, I don't know. It does seem to be moving pretty quick. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Let's see, try to turn this here. Okay, slowly. Okay, so we just hold it here and just see. Yeah, it's gonna keep turning. This is about as sharp as it can turn, I guess. I think I can keep turning the wheel. Let's just go ahead and keep spinning it. Okay, so it does stop eventually. Awesome. I'm gonna turn and try to avoid this island here. I'm actually really curious about spawning the boat as well. Um, okay, and then if you let go, that's cool. That is cool, it'll straighten back out. That is perfect. How cool is this? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty sure this is much faster than the little raft. Okay, before we wrap this up, I do wanna run this aground. <laughs> because <laughs> we got to see I'm, I'm really curious what happens there and uh, once it's stuck can you just respawn it like you can the other boats I have no idea but that's why we experiment we want to learn how these things work alrighty and there we go we are stranded <laughs> very cool let's go ahead and um, obviously we can't do anything here I'm assuming that we can't turn the wheel let's go experiment with that I don't think that's gonna do anything um, but we will just try to give this a, a turn and see if it changes anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um, so next thing is to hop off of here. Let's just go ahead and run right off the front of this thing. Whoa! Splash. Okay, and what we want to do is I want to see if I can just spawn one of these out. I guess I could have done that out here. Um, let's walk up on the sandbar with the boat. Bring this guy up. Click this guy, please, please. Ooh, look at that. Old pirate ship. Awesome. Okay, so can we just do this? 
Ooh, look at that. Very cool. That's the back side of the boat, too. Let's put this out a little bit. Boom, and it disappears. Perfect. So it works just like the little raft. That's exactly what I wanted to know. And it's exactly what I had hoped. <laughs> it's like, please tell me we can just respawn this thing. And sure enough, there you go. We are back on our way. Anyway, I think I do want to wrap this right now. I think we're kind of pushing up on time. Um, let's see. I think we're going to also wrap the series. We're going to leave this at a four episode run. Uh, having said that, if you guys would like to see more, please do let me know in the comments. And I think what we'll do is, um, the next time I return to this, I'll probably do it as a new series, a new episode one and on. Um, but from this save, we will start with this boat and everything that we've got. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to hear from you guys if you want to see more of this. Otherwise, I think I might just kind of, uh, tote this around and experiment a little bit more. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you next time.